Hi friends in this session we will going to see how to do the crd analysis if our replications are unequal okay in op stat okay let's open our data set uh, already i have the uh, excel design over here i will explain that as well in that so that we can compare the, our result with the op stat okay so let's see the example what is the unequal number of replication in the crd design okay so because in crd design unequal number of replication it's a, a little bit difficult to do in the op stat so that if you want to purchase this type of excel sheet okay i'll explain that as well to you you can see here this is the unequal number of replications crd analysis you can see here you can put the any number of replication for example you have the treatment t1 then you can put the different uh, replications over here or for example uh, you consider the treatment number 1 you can consider the six replications for treatment number 2 you can consider two replications or three replications as per the your uh, research okay so this step of experiment is little bit difficult to do in the op stat but uh, there is the way to do that type of analysis in the op stat Th that analysis i will explain to you okay so and uh, also i will explain uh, that similar analysis in the excel okay this is the fully automatic sheet uh, if you want this type of excel sheet for your data analysis then definitely contact us my contact number in the description box of this video then definitely you check out that and just contact me uh, but keep in mind this is all services we provided are paid services okay if you have any difficulty then definitely you ask in the comment box okay uh, let's check out the uh, first example okay so you can see here the in the treatment number 1 uh, you can see we have the five replications for treatment number 2 we have five for treatment number 3 you can see here we have the six replications for treatment number 5 we have three replications only 6 and 7 six replications okay for treatment number 8 four replications and last treatment number 10 we have the three replications this type of data uh, definitely uh, uh, you will get from your research okay when uh, you are doing the work in the laboratory or uh, in the control environment condition then this type of things are there right so if you have different uh, replication then definitely uh, you will do the analysis in crd okay so here is the trick to do the this type of analysis in op stat you can see we need to rearrange this type of data okay let's see the first our result i can copy this data in our excel sheet just i will paste over here you keep in mind you need to only paste the values okay don't paste di directly just paste the values only okay you will get all values over here and this is fully automatic sheet so that it will calculate everything for you okay so we will get the uh, unwatchable in that uh, degrees of freedom also sum of square uh, cv also you will get then standard error mean difference then cd value for 5 and 1% you will get that okay so here is the final thesis table that also you will get along with this um, excel sheet and as well as very important you will get the uh, your chart as well okay for chart you can just put your uh, character name over here and that will automatically reflect in this character name okay it's replace this character name and you can just click on that and you can uh, modify any or uh, axis titles or uh, color or anything if you want to you can go to just in chart or chart format and you can change it okay you will get this uh, all in this single sheet if you want to buy this type of excel sheet then definitely contact us you will get the, my whatsapp number in the description box okay uh, let's see how we do this type of unequal replications or observations analysis for crd in op stat okay op stat is the free software which is available on uh, web based app so you can go there and you can do analysis so uh, we can see the step by step procedure for this okay so let's uh, start with the rearranging our data 
okay uh, because in opset uh, crd design uh, falls under the category of uh, one factor analysis but sometimes crd unequal number of replication uh, they consider the one way anova okay so that uh, let's see the rearrangement of our data okay you can see uh, we have the treatment number one and then we have one two three four five five replications we need to convert this all in a column format okay you can see here treatment number one 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 okay and i put these values three one one three one one okay like this these all values are here in a column format you need to rearrange all the values up to the treatment number 10 in a column format for example you have t5 one two three values only means three replications you can see here in t5 we consider one two three values for example you can see in treatment number one just select first five replications right click copy and just select any cell click on it and just paste here you can see here the option transpose option okay you will get the vertical values in a column okay now you need to rearrange all your data whatever your data uh, if you have 5 treatments 10 treatments 20 treatments likewise whatever your data you need to rearrange with the uh, column format okay so now i can select whole data along with the treatment number okay so you can see here both two we can consider this first as a treatment names consider the first parameter or our main parameter is the de dependent parameter we can consider these values for example this is we call as the yield values so that we can consider that as well okay just right click and copy okay just open your op stat you can see here in opstat it's a little bit difficult to do the crd and equal replication analysis so that you can see here the many options are available uh, just you can see here the comparing comparing mean option okay just click on it okay you will get this type of uh, input box and uh, here you need to put your data and here you need to put your character name um, if you don't put the character name um, this uh, design or this software will take the x1 x2 x3 or character 1 character 2 like that names okay so i will put just paste my data okay this is first character this is second character then submit okay now you will get the different type of window over here and you need to uh, give the input or information regarding your data okay uh, this is the for uh, one way ANOVA you can see here the one way ANOVA or t test we will going to choose the one way ANOVA first we need to give the variable or character how many character we submitted two characters right so just give a two number then observation per variable you can see here we have count 100 for two means 50 for one okay so i will put here the observation variable 50 okay then dependent variable it's very important to, to choose the dependent variable and grouping variable you can see here the dependent variable you should have to mention the position okay for example in our example this first is the independent variable we we uh, called it uh, grouping variable and this second number is our dependent variable you can see here in op set you should have to mention that numbers okay so that our dependent variable number is two okay then grouping variable number is our one okay so you don't need to put any test values or any other uh, character pairing values or just select the one way ANOVA you need to select this test one way now in next uh, subsequent classes uh, we definitely going to consider for the one sample t test independent sample t test their uh, paired sample t test we will uh, make the videos on that as well so don't worry about this just click on the one way ANOVA 
okay and you can see here you will get uh, the analyze button you just hit that button okay so uh, here you will get the different type so statistics in that first you will get the descriptive statistic regarding your data right because we are doing the one factor analysis over here or we called it uh, simply one way ANOVA right so that we consider the two characters in that one is dependent and another one is the independent one right so that you will get here you can see here the character number two why it's character number two because we consider the it's a dependent character right so you'll get the group group of 10 right so first you will get five five six six all these are our replications right three six right then you'll get the mean then variance standard deviation and standard error values below that you will get the one way ANOVA analysis uh, we call this the ANOVA table so that in character you will get character here as a dependent character only and then source of variation you will get the between groups and within groups then you will get the degrees of freedom 9 40 49 okay let's check with our design uh, in uh, 9 40 49 okay it's correct then sum of square 2 2 6 2 7 4 then sum of square 2 2 6 2 7 4 yeah it's correct one then another seven three eight nine five seven three eight nine five it's also correct one okay uh, let's see the significance because in um, op state you will get the significance only for five percent and many times what will happen here uh, you will get the significance only over here and you will get the point zero point point uh, you don't know the next value what is exactly so that let's see here these are the significant because uh, if we consider this significant you need to compare this with the 0 0.01 or 0 0.05 so that you uh, you will consider whether it's uh, significant or non-significant right so you can see here you will get the significant values you can see the EF calculated it's EF calculated 13.60 f calculated you can see here 13.60 it's all correct right uh, let's see the another stat you don't get any other stat over here you just get the multiple comparison for the least significant differences uh, you can this calculate um, um, by yourself as well uh, by arranging your mean or sending and descending order and subtracting and comparing that with the next uh, treatment and you will get these the multiple comparison as the superscript values okay so uh, here is the limitation in the op stat and you uh, in our design you will get everything which is needed for your research okay so in opstat you don't get the cv value okay so you will get here the cv value 14.69 okay then standard error mean also i think so you will get the standard error only right for the individual you don't get the standard error mean you need to calculate that standard error mean with the help of this data right so you will get directly a standard error mean value then standard error difference values and also you will get the cd values at five percent and cd values at one percent but in op stat you will get the cd values at five percent only but i don't think so in this one way i know you will get that so that you need this type of excel sheet or uh, you need to calculate that manually with the help of uh, uh, generated data um, by op stat right so uh, here is also one advantage you can put your treatment name over here and that will automatically reflect over here okay so uh, this is the final thesis table you will get from this you, you just need to uh, select this table and copy paste to the word file wherever you want okay and uh, extra advanced things in our excel sheet you will get that graph okay you will get this the treatment one treatment two up to the treatment 10 graph then you will get the legend over here that is the character name you can put the title for this you can put the title for uh, a vertical and a horizontal uh, axis to the graph and uh, you will go to go 
okay so i think so it's sufficient and uh, you learn about how to do the unequal number of replication in crd analysis in opstat as well as in the excel thank you so much